the story about this is Shibani Gharat. It has been an exciting year for the advertising industry. As we are a few weeks shy of the new year, we have decided to bring to you some of our best conversations from the past one year. First up, we have a chat with Publicis Worldwide's new chief, Arthur Sado. Soon after his appointment as the chairman and CEO of Publicis, Arthur shocked the industry by announcing at Can Lions that his group will be sitting out of Can Lions 2018. His conversation with storyboard editor Anand Rangaswamy was just a few days before this announcement in which he gave away a few hints about what was to take place next while speaking about his frustration about the way in which this festival is conducted. A couple of years ago, I interviewed Morris Levy when he came to India and I badgered him on when he would retire. And he told me he would do so in May 2017. It's not May 2017, it's now June 2017, but Morris has more or less kept his word. And today we have an exclusive conversation with Morris's successor. It's a fantastic conversation and with every sort of sign that I see, he's very much Morris. Arthur, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks to you and bonjour. So to begin with, uh, where is the traditional agency business headed? And if you want to understand the traditional business of our industry, you need to understand where our client sits at the moment. And uh, wherever you are in the world, maybe a bit less in India, but still, uh, they are facing the same problem. Low growth, need for efficiencies, and a huge problem of brand trust. Right. And all of them need to transform their marketing and their business model in order to perform again. Right. And so our industry now is looking for the best way to be their partner in their transformation. And I want to believe that as publicists, we have a unique positioning to do it. Now, part of the problem definition is uh, companies are looking for lower costs everywhere, whatever cost head. And then there's pressure from procurement on the old agency business. How do you deal with that? I think that if we think that this is going to stop, we are full. Right. It will continue. The pressure on cost is coming for a lot of reasons, and we have to take it as a given. The big question then becomes, how can we raise sales and make sure that we increase the top line while taking into account the fact that they need to find this kind of efficiencies? And here again, I think that technology and the way we can transform marketing on one side and transform the business model of our client on the other and do that in an interconnected way is the best way for our industry to continue to have a value. Right. I have to ask you this question because you've got uh, Maurice's DNA. So tell me, what is your relationship with Martin Sorel going to be? I mean, I have fixed a rule since I've taken my job, which is really uh, soon, I knew, is um, I won't comment about my competitors. Right. And for a very simple reason. I've got two options. Either I say nice things, and they are my competitors, so I'm not as full as that, or I'm going to say bad things, and I don't think it's good for our industry. Right. Uh, we are industry leaders. We are in an industry that today needs to justify this value as to show the way and why we are important in the industry. And I want to make sure that everything I do is actually bringing this kind of value and relevancy to our business instead of saying nasty things that are really not necessary. Right. So to come back to Mr. Sorel, uh, if he has something to say to me, if it's nice, I will answer. If it's bad, I will do something else. I've got a lot to do anyway. So suppose you bump into him at the Quasette or at the gutter bar uh, in Cannes next week, what happens? I guess, as usual, I will say hello very gently. Right. Okay, staying with Cannes, what is your expectation of Publicis Group expectations at Cannes? Uh, that's a big question for me because I don't know exactly what to expect from Cannes anymore. Right. Right. You know, I'm, uh, I've been in Cannes for two decades now. Right. I've been lucky enough to be agency of the year four years in a row f a long time ago, so long I know it ago. takes to go on stage. Uh, but I think that at the moment I've got difficulties to understand what is the meaning of Cannes, what are we really looking for. It's a great place to meet clients. You can spend time with platform if you want on the beach. You've got the best places now. But when it goes to creativity, when it goes to giving a meaning and a sense to our industry, I've got the feeling that they have lost a bit themselves, and I'm really eager to see what will happen this year. 
I was present at Can Lions myself when the announcement was made and publicist decision to stay out of the award show next year got mixed reactions from the industry. But the former chairman and CEO of publicist Maurice Levy was all praise for this decision. I caught up with him at the festival. Let's take a look at this conversation to find out more. We are in south of France at Cannes and one French man whom I was really looking forward to meet is Maurice Levy considering that you know the amount of conversations that are going on on Crosset because of publicists pulling out of 2018 Cannes Lions Maurice I have to begin this interview by asking you what do you think of the decision I love that decision and I'm fully supporting uh, Arthur's Arthur Sadoun with the new CEO uh, is following on my steps and, and uh, I think he made the right decision which is to pause because uh, there, there is on the one hand something that we have to do which is the development of a new app which I believe will uh, change quite dramatically the way agencies will work and particularly ours. And this is an app which will be powered by artificial intelligence and which will help greatly the creative people to participate to a lot of work around the world. So that's one aspect. But the second aspect that can is um, moving to a territory which I believe is important to, to, to tell the people who are running can, okay, you should think a little bit uh, about uh, the worries that we as uh, advertising agency have because can is above all and first and foremost about work yeah. and the celebration of great work and what do we see in can today is a lot of festivities a lot of events a lot of seminars discussions uh, like a marketplace like a fair it's, we are not in a fair, we are in a city that we love and we love the Can Lion and we love what Ascension is doing and we want them to see that they should come back to the core of what Can is all about which is creativity and celebrating great work. And the last aspect is that um, with uh, everything which is happening and with the people with deep pockets who don't count the money, when we advertising agencies are put uh, uh, on, on the front line by our client to cut our costs, to cut our fees, etc., we need to be mindful and can Lion have to be mindful of the cost. So there, there is three different aspects. One is uh, using that money to uh, and not only can, but every single festival uh, using that money for uh, developing that uh, app and it's a, a good thing because it will help the creative work. The second is to say, hey, hey, oh, oh, pause, pause, please, think about the work and last but not least, think about the cost. Yeah, but it's not just the can, it is uh, you know, awards and trade shows around the world that, uh, you know, Sardon has forbidden his agencies from participating in. What do you think of that? And don't you think it will be demotivating for the talent within your own agency, especially the creative talent? I, I think that uh, we, we should look at the creative talent for what they are. And they are, above all, very great, intelligent people who understand the business, who understand uh, uh, the work and will love to be celebrated and will love the competition for the greatest work. So what we are telling them is uh, guys and girls, what we see coming in the industry and happening in the industry is a deviation from uh, the core idea of celebrating the work, celebrating the creativity, and rewarding the great work. So you should help us bringing back all these awards to what they should be about, which is a great competition of the best work in order that your work is celebrated. 
and you receive the right of war. It's one year. It's not that we are saying we are not going anymore to celebrate uh, the, the work. And we will celebrate inside uh, our company uh, the work. So there is no, I, I don't believe that uh, uh, after the first emotion that this will lead to a huge problem. I think that Arthur Sadoun has made the right decision and uh, I support it and I believe it is the, the right path. And by the way, once again, you will see that we are leading the path. And you will see that people will think about pulling out or there will be a renegotiation. Do you, do you suspect a domino effect? You know, do you think that other agencies and networks will follow the suit? I don't know if they will stop coming. I think that what they will do is certainly to bring the issue on the table and that there will be some serious discussion about this. And I think that what we are doing today by revolutionizing the work and the way we are operating and changing our own organization, moving to power of one, etc. All this is extremely positive. It is not only well accepted by most of our people, but it is also extremely well accepted by our client. And we gain the support of our client. They understand what the situation is all about. They understand that we have to transform our business. They understand that uh, we need to help them growing their business and we have to bring ideas that will change the course of action. They will grow, they will win market share, all these thanks to great work. And we will be rewarded for that. So I feel extremely enthused, uh, not only about the decision, but the meaning behind the decision. It is time for us to take a short break. On the other side of this break, we bring to you our conversations with WPP Chief Sir Martin Sorrell and FCP's Global CEO Carter Murray.